right, is Ronnie boy? I, I, I tell you, I feel kind of good. Uh, I still am very awfully weak and everything, but uh, I thought I'd take a little walk down. And <clears throat> I see the neighbors were out tilling up some more land. Uh, I told them I wanted this other place worked up. The alfalfa wasn't so good. I said, let's put that to corn. And uh, next year, we can put it back to alfalfa again. It's kind of good for the land to rotate crops. Okay, so I walked down there. And I was standing there kind of like this, and just watching. All of a sudden, I smell barnyard and silage. I'm watching them work out in their field, and all of a sudden, a hand on my shoulder. I looked over. Hi. This is my old far farmer friend there. <laughs> he smiles at me and says, Looks kind of nice, doesn't it? This says, Looks very nice. He said, uh, I know you like it out and see it, and don't tell me you flew down here. I says, No, I walked. <laughs> he laughs. He says, Why don't I? I'll give you a ride down in the pasture and sit by the river and watch the fish swim by and in an hour or so I'm going to be heading back to my place, his place, and uh, he says, I'd like to take you with me. So says, Marianne will cook us up a dinner and you're welcome to stay overnight if you want to. So we got an extra room and we can sit and talk about what, what's been going on with you and how my boys are doing on the farm? I says, I'm not down here to inspect. I just like to see it. Hmm. Now, isn't he nice? He's almost 90 years old. And he can lift me up like the Dickens. <laughs> he lifts me out of the truck. Put me on the ground and I sat there by the river. You hear the water trickle, and the leaves were blowing nice, and you can see the fishies down in there, and he says, I should have brought you a fishing pole. I says, I don't have a license. <laughs> it, it, it actually, it, it's a trout creek, too, so you have to have a trout stamp, too, so I'm not going to pay that. No, I don't, I don't care to catch fish, I just want to see them. But anyway, uh... He took me over there, and we had a nice dinner. Regular German farm dinner. I mean, you got ham, chicken, roast beef, potatoes, beans, carrots, onions, homemade bread. But uh, he says, uh, why don't you just stay here, and I'll be back. And tonight, we can just... Relax and talk with each other, and says, I, I said I'd feel a lot more comfortable at home. And says, well, I'll take you back. But I thought that was really cool. I was standing there just watching them work up my field. I just know barnyard all of a sudden, and the hand on my shoulder, his arm right around me. I looked over and we smiled at each other and I said, he said, uh, looks nice, doesn't it? He said, yes, it does. <laughs> but, uh, I just wish I could be out there. Oh, he would let me if I was very insistent on it, but I, I want to take care of myself. And on another note, I called, uh, some places for medical aid, uh, they got this thing coming up for to ensure everybody in the state of Wisconsin but I don't qualify because I don't have children and I'm single but see the reason I don't have health insurance nobody will insure me because of my health 
I've had several things go wrong with me. Wrong with me. <laughs> wrong with me in the past. And uh, I take blood pressure medicine and they just will not insure me. Even if I could afford it. Even if they would insure me, I could not afford it. I pay on machinery yet, spray, fertilizer, still paying on my farm. I think I may be selling my farm to my friend. And uh, like I said, it's not paid for yet. And with the bills I got to pay, I'd be awfully lucky if I break even. And here I am, nothing for retirement, nothing to pay my health bills with, no income. I don't know. I really, really do not know what to do. Well, got my little job down at the a and <laughs> Went down this morning and washed windows and mopped floors and cleaned toilets and picked up junk around the parking lot. And that was about it. There you go. That's the way it goes. First your money, then your clothes. <laughs> Thank you for watching the Ronnie Boy Show.